video in our video series on creating a, uh, a simple little desktop app to store volunteers. In the last video, what we did is we created the ability um, to, uh, to create a new user. We created uh, a GUI where we could read their first name, last name, phone number, birthdays, um, and if they were valid, it would store them to the database. If it was invalid, uh, then it would display, it would update this label to say what's wrong. What we want to do now is, over here, we want to start to create the ability for a user to select an image. Um, so you can picture, you know, it's like the person's avatar or their, uh, for, for their account. And what we're going to do is, we're going to start off, this video will show how do we display at least the default image. And then the video after that, we'll look at, well, how do we change that default image? So, <clears throat> So the first thing we need is we need a place to actually hold the image. So uh, here in Scene Builder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the image view and drag this over. And <clears throat> you can see with the horizontal box, there's a couple of things. One is um, it puts them right tight together and things aren't very centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on horizontal box here. And I'll say the alignment, let's make it centered. And then because I don't want these things right tight to each other. Let's resize this a little. And let's go, uh, we'll put some space in here. So again, clicking on the H box, if I go to layout, I can put some spacing between elements. So let's put at least 20 pixels between them. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of space. Things aren't quite so jammed up. Save. So now we can access this image view object, right? So you can see its data type is image view. So let's go back to our controller. And here we can put in let's call it uh, Let's just call it the image. Okay, so <clears throat> when we when we want to create um, when we want to create this uh, image, there is a default image. So the first thing that we want to bring up is the default image. So we go down here. This initialize method is part of every uh, controller class. It's, it's a mandatory field uh, because our controller class implements this initializable interface. And that interface defines that you must have this initialize method. And what's great about this method is it will always run first. So in here, <clears throat> What we'll do is we will try to load the default image, and then we can catch any I.O. exceptions. And we'll just send this to the error stream. Now eventually, what we're going to do is we're going to want to have access uh, to this actual file that this thing is going to load. So I'm going to say file, image, file, up here. Okay, so it becomes an instance variable for our controller. And down here, we'll say image file. So our, our, our image file is going to point to our default user. And then 
we actually have to use some uh, some of the older classes to handle this thing. Um, we're going to create what's called a buffered image. And interesting enough, um, <clears throat> in this case, we actually use the AWT um, the AWT packages. Okay. So now we have what's called the buffered image, and from that we can create an image. And once we have an image, then <clears throat> okay, looking to see. Yeah, so our image view, we called it image. Maybe we should call it image view to make it more explicit. So come down here, and what we can say is image view at the image to be this image that we just created. So basically, this allows us to actually access the file. This creates a buffered image that we turn into an image that we can load into our image view. Seems like a lot of steps, but it's not too bad. And let's go back into our controller now. And, or sorry, our view. And if I go down to code, the last thing I have to do is I have to connect the FX IDs here so that my view and my controller can talk to each other. So let's hit save. So now, when we want to run our app, when it loads, oops, it says can't read input file. Uh oh. So let's find out why. So it's called default person. It's a PNG file. So I must have something wrong. Uh, missing this. And let's do another thing. Let's let's make this our main project. So I'm going to go set main project to be the volunteer app. And then I'm going to customize this so that the main method, the main class is what we will use. Say so, okay. So now I don't have to keep navigating back to main to launch things. I can just hit my green button. And when it comes up, there's our default, our default avatar. So in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to add a button under here that allow us to actually change this avatar to something custom. Okay. So that's it for this video.